Chitri. There's a thing outside. Nasty. Is she's not a Mundi, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fatal Town. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. Something in her mouth. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. Then he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, did you see anyone else? No. No one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of... us... Do this? There Probably. hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the Things more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. There are people. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. But there could have been a clue in her eyes. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind now of would monster do that? would do this? What is... That's a ribbon. It's... Her ribbon. There's a ring on it. some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Me neither. <laughs> Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like Who that? Who did that to her? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Let's split up and look for clues. <laughs> Maybe they left I'm, something in the surrounding sorry. area? This is just Can we get so over the head surreal. now? <sighs> Focus um, and stuff. What, what do you want to do next? I told you, split up and look for clues. Gods know, you don't even listen. <laughs> we still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. God damn it, Snow, just not listening. I wanna go on the grass, I wanna go on the grass. <laughs> What's this? I can't click on it, what? <laughs> what? Oh, blood trail. Let's look at it first. Um, I wanna touch it. Blood. Drops of blood. Boop. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Blood on the railings and something on the floor. And stuff. What's this? Scrap of fabric. Uh, I want to look at it. Oh, go. No signs that it's been here long. Touch it. The fabric. 
Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Let's go examine the trash can. Or the rubbish bin, as we call it in England. Just some loose trash. Or is it? Well, there's blood on the railings. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Let's touch it. I want, I want to touch it. Blood. Still wet. He didn't touch it, he looked Sharp at it and made an observation. God damn it. Certainly nothing in there? Okay. Let's head this way. Can I not run? Oh, a pressing shift walks faster, I suppose. Don't think there'll be anything over here. We can check anyway. No, I don't think there is. I'm gonna go on the grass in front of snow so she can be angry at me. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? I think How it's a happen? message. Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? The victim, the victim. himself? She could be a symbol for something. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be just worse if he wait finds out we held it from him. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that, and I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds... reasonable, but... I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Yeah. Crane interfering. Ichabod Crane. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Who's Dr. Swinehart? I am ahead. Achievement unlocked. The long goodbye. What are you blind? Why you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. How rude. Accuse me of impropriety. Yes, I see. Crane. You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, Ooh, of course it. I Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought Can you I this news him? as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a oh. disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, well, he did you were the one charged it, but he was being protecting out of line. the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a, a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah. 
Her pimp. Her... was she, uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. He is an asshole. Do your job, Sheriff. The people call we'll me an We'll find asshole. someone who can. You okay. know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. <sighs> well, it that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You That's don't have to say it. Tie. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. He gets a morning massage. He gets a massage this early. Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's out the door. I think it might be a prostitute. Is... His morning is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Ooh. Buffkin! He had the wine. Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you it, today, Buffkin. Mr. Bigby? Fine, Time. Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. <laughs> Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Mirror, mirror. I really no, have the to wall. get this it's appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Ooh, magic Hi. lamp. This is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. I'm gonna rub it anyway. Yes, that's right. Worth a try. <laughs> yes, I mean, I question Look at the mirror. Due to the amount. Let's talk to the mirror. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Didn't have to be so Fine. rude. Mirror. Of which fable do you wish to know? Uh. Let's ask about Woodsman. Show me the Woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The Woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Let's ask about Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking! Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. 
She's in this very room. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Exit. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. It's back with the books. Yay! Sucks. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Alright, to the box away. Shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. <gasps> Isn't this that... is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. Oh. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Oh, shit. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Shit, that's serious really quickly then. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. Shit. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nah. No, I don't. Him. But we need to let him know about his wife. What's that facial expression just like? <laughs> what? What's in this book? Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Look, it's me. Huh. Me. Oh, that bastard. And him. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Yeah, the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. You're getting warmer. <laughs> but that's me. Yeah. Dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Well, that's just mean. Beauty and happier days. And her man. 
beast. Funny. Pigs. Colin and his brothers. So there's that single yeah, gun. That's her, all right. A long time ago. There she is, in her donkey skin. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Toad. Nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Yeah, how did he end well, up running this place? maybe it's time that changed. I think I should run this place. No Headless Horseman things. Okay, alright, let's move on. Um, I think I need to go see Prince Lawrence. I think. I'll see where Prince Lawrence is. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, <laughs> blah, blah, blah about oh. this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh shit. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? He's wearing vans. Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? Oh, if he's are available. A prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. about Faith's father. Show me Faith's father. The old king. Oh. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Yeah, he's dead. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. I should have looked at the Faith thing, but it would be the head, wouldn't it? Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. But who would ring me? Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh wait, hang on. What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Toad will wait. Whenever you're ready. I don't care about him anyway. Let's leave. Let us leave. As in, let us leave, not let us leave. Yeah. <laughs> pro, pro things from me. <laughs> Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, nope. He didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Let's go to Lawrence's apartment. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. 